You know, there are a lot of high paying gigs out there. You just gotta know where to find them. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five secret places to find high paying gigs. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to Music Space, where we help working musicians just like you learn how to quickly and easily make a living with your craft. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what exactly do we mean when we're talking about high paying gigs? Do we just mean a particular dollar amount or a particular profile gig or a high impact gig or things of that nature? Well, it's a combination of these things and more. So to make it easier to understand, let's just refer to them as high impact gigs meaning gigs that have a substantial impact on your pocket or a substantial impact on your career or that can set you up for some sort of bigger success. Now, many musicians don't even know about these places where you can find high paying gigs because they're simply caught up in playing the same events and clubs and stuff all the time for, you know, smaller dollar amounts. It's that compliant and complacent thing that you hear me speak of a lot. It's, you know, buying into the mindset of that this is just the way things are. But there is light at the end of the tunnel, my friend, and I'm about to share with you five secret places that you can start using to book high paying gigs today. But before we get into it, I wanna let you know about my free ebook that you can download right now. Now, this ebook will give you 10 tips that you can literally start using today to start making more money as a musician. And again, it's absolutely free and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time a video is uploaded and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Okay, so let's get into the five secret places to book high paying gigs. And the fifth one is my super secret that I literally use to this day to book high paying gigs. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. Okay, so the first place to look for for booking high paying gigs is called residencies. Now, this is a little bit of a cheat to a high paying gig because of the way it works. It works over time. So what is a residency? Residencies are gigs that you book in one spot for extended periods of time. So for example, you book such and such nightclub for three months straight every Friday night or every Friday and Saturday night for three months straight at a particular price. And that price over time equals to a lot more than what you would get normally just by doing gigs here and there in those same three months. Now residencies particularly work well for solo acts and smaller bands, say three or four piece bands, because they can, you know, go into smaller places, which is a lot of times where you want to look for these residencies at. And there's a lot of benefit to doing residencies, you know, outside the obvious benefit that if you book a reasonable price, you you stand to make a lot of money over time, over those, whatever the extent of the residency is. But there is a lot more benefit to this. One benefit is that you have the potential to develop a following and an audience from playing at a particular place for an extended period of time. These places a lot of times have regular customers that come in and they have a lot of people that come in, you know, at different times. So you stand to make uh, an audience and build an audience for yourself and build a following for yourself where you can make contacts, get email addresses, you know, have people show up at the places that you play, which of course makes you more valuable as a musician. Another benefit is that you can negotiate in the terms of the residency, things like food and drinks, where you get free food and free drinks. And that's always a plus when you're playing, you know, say a two to three hour set and you, you go on break, you have some free food waiting for you. And you know, you're playing at this glamorous place that has this glamorous food, you get to partake in it. And you know, drinks don't hurt either. Now, residencies can be found in a lot of places, but some places that are particularly good for them are smaller venues like restaurants and coffee shops and things of that nature. That way you can book those and you don't have to book it for a lot of money, but you book it for, you know, a reasonable substantial amount that equals a bigger amount over the time of the residency. Okay, so the second place to find high paying gigs are bridal expos and extravaganzas. So what are wedding expos and extravaganzas? Well, the wedding industry is a $72 billion a year industry. 
And as such, the bridal industry and people in the bridal industry that sell bridal type things, you know, dresses and everything that has to do with weddings, they have these expos, you know, yearly in different cities and different states and all of this kind of stuff. But they have these expos where they, you know, present what they can, you know, offer for people for their weddings and brides to be husbands and families and stuff that are looking to, you know, purchase particular things for their weddings show up at these events in order to you know patronize these people and buy their stuff and get what they need for their weddings now the average cost for a wedding is around thirty three thousand dollars and a lot of that money is allocated to things like entertainment and bands and djs and things of that nature so as musicians we stand to make a lot of money from getting involved with this type of industry and bridal expos are a perfect way to do this these expos have, you know, wedding planners that you can meet. You have the opportunity to buy vendor tables where you can set up a vendor table for your own band or for your own musician or solo act where you can present to people that come to these things. And these expos, I kid you not, they have tens of thousands of people that come through there throughout a weekend. Most of the time they're held on like a weekend, a Friday, Saturday and Sunday or something like that. And throughout the weekend, they have tens of thousands of people coming through there. And even if they don't book you for their wedding, then a lot of these people may have other events that they will book you for. All right, so the third place to find high paying gigs are corporate gigs. So what do I mean by corporate gigs? Well, it's really simple actually. Corporate gigs are just gigs that you do for companies and organizations or their subsidiaries. And it includes things like holiday parties for a company or you know company meetings that they may have and things of this nature. And we musicians stand to make a lot of money from gigs like this because these companies actually budget you know, money for their events and entertainment in their yearly meetings. And in their fiscal year, they have these budgets that are allocated to specifically hiring bands and hiring entertainment and things of that nature for whatever events that they're gonna have. On average, you can probably expect most companies to allocate, you know, four to five grand for things of this nature because they understand that it costs, you know, and that would be just a part of what they would pay for like entertainment. It, a lot of the funds sometimes go to some other things. But, you know, again, as a musician, we stand to make a lot of money from these types of events. Now, the fourth place for booking high paying gigs is to use agents and promoters. Now, hold on. I know your mind probably went to the whole, you know, janky promoter thing and, you know, janky club promoters that, you know, do, you know, janky business and all of that kind of stuff. That is not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about agents and promoters. By agent, what I mean is some person or group of people that represent you as an artist or as a band. And they have the specific job of finding you gigs and they just simply take a percentage off the top. So the trick to this though is finding promoters that book for high profile type of events, say festivals and concerts and things of that nature. These types of events tend to pay substantially more than the average gig and they have a higher impact on your career. All right, so the fifth place to find high paying gigs, and this one is sort of still my top secret that I use today is a website called allconferences.com. Now, let me tell you what it is. It's simply a website that gives you the information about all the conferences that may be happening in any particular area. So it allows you to go in and put in an address or zip code or city or state, and it gives you a list of conferences that has been registered in that city or that state or that zip code that, you know, that will be happening. And it has a calendar of events. And the reason that this website is so valuable is because it's again giving you that, you know, information that you need that's happening in your city that you can kind of, you know, get ahead of and say, oh, okay, in 2020, this is happening. Let me reach out to these people. And you never know what sort of responses that you're gonna get from stuff like that. And I'm telling you, it's, it's really crazy because a lot of times there are high profile events. So let's just say you go to this site and you find out that somebody like a Tony Robbins or somebody like that is coming to your city in you know 2020 at some point and you get booked for an event like that where you know tens of thousands of people are going to be at all of Tony Robbins events sell out so let's say you can get booked for something like that and you you know book it for say just a couple of grand or something like that 
Do you realize the relationships that you can make, the amount of CDs and products and you know merchandise that you can sell at events like that where there's tens of thousands of people there? Let's just say, you know, you show up and you do do the event for free. Now, a lot of times I've done this, I've done events for free just because of the back end payoff where I can show up. I have a whole list of email addresses that I can market my stuff to just from, you know, walking up and talking to people, having them go to my website and sign up for my, you know, my newsletter and things like that. I can sell merchandise, 10,000 people there. Let's just say only 10% of the 10,000 people buy a CD from you at, you know, $15 per CD or $10 per CD, how much ever you're selling your music for. You stand to make a lot of money from booking events like this. And if you only did two or three events like this, two or three, four large events like this per year, you'd be in better position than you are now just simply, you know, working at a club here and there every month or every couple of weeks on a Friday night here and there. So this is a really, really valuable tool that I'm giving you. Now, I don't want to oversell it again. This I'm not in any kind of business with this website. I don't know who owns it or anything like that. So I'm not getting any money selling this or telling you about this. I just want you to be able to go there and use this, you know, sort of hidden gem that I've been using for years. Again, I don't want to sell it like it's something really easy. There's some work that you're going to have to put into it because you got to reach out. You got to make calls. You got to give people, you know, information about you and stuff like that. And, you know, you're not necessarily going to book on your first call that you may get a contact on and things like that. So it's a lot of hard work. But again, if you're willing to put in that work and you make this happen, this website alone is something that you could use to just boost your career where you could be making an extra, you know, 20, 30, 30 grand per year just by, you know, booking conferences and things like that from this website. So those are the five places that you can find high paying gigs today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.